I will push through and get to the Seahawks part of the show first, uh, where we hit the couple extensions here, a couple deals uh, really before free agency hits. Uh, the team signed guard Phil Haynes to a two-year contract extension. Um, Haynes has kind of really just played as a sixth starter for the uh, the Seahawks the last few years, uh, trying to mitigate any potential of an injury for Gabe Jackson. So he, I mean, this, this, this one, this stat really will prove that when I get to this for you. Uh, Jackson uh, played 51% of Seattle's offensive snaps this past year. He only started in three games this past season, but appeared in 15 of them and regularly rotated with Gabe Jackson. So uh, he was set to be a free agent next month. So Seattle locks him up with a one-year deal uh, at about $4 million. That's, you know, technically starter money. Um, but just... I, and I think there was some worry about that. They're like, why, why are we signing this guy who um, isn't a, a bona fide starter to starter money? Uh, I apologize for the voice crack. Uh, and I can understand that. Um, some of the concern there, you know, uh, with this off season, you know, you'd obviously like to add on the defensive side of the ball. You've got the draft coming up. Um, you know where you need to improve basically with the Seahawks team right now. Um but just considering the youth factor in relation to Jackson, I'm wondering if there's any cap inclination here to where Seattle's like, hey, you know, Phil showed us what he can do. We're going to go with him this year um, and maybe kind of go younger, go cheaper uh, than Gabe Jackson. I don't know if that's going to be the case um, just because, I mean, that was as close to even uh, nearly as you can get. But. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility necessarily. So something to keep an eye on. But uh, I remember last year before the season actually started, I was really excited for Phil Haynes to get more of a shot and him playing half the season, uh, half the snaps isn't exactly what I expected, but it's a good neutral uh, for what I had hoped for. So interested to see how that plays out. And if he gets that starter role and Jackson is out, or um, if this is just sort of a thing where, uh, they want to continue that situation they've got there at the right guard position. Um, in addition to that move that Seattle made, the team signed a uh, fullback linebacker slash comedian Nick Belor to a two-year contracts extension. Uh, Nick Belor, who first joined Seattle back in the year of 2019 via free agency, uh, is going to play his 13th season in the NFL uh, when we approach the 2023 calendar year. Uh, and season, I apologize. Um, he is an undrafted free agent out of Central Michigan, so he's he's had quite the ride here. He was a Pro Bowl selection as a special teams player in 2020. He's been the special teams captain for Seattle each of the past two seasons and led the Seahawks in special teams tackles the last year with 14 while playing a team high 75.5% of the special team snaps for the Hawks. And back in 2021, he led the team with special team tackles at 15. Uh, in addition to those playmaking uh, abilities on special teams, he's also been used as a fullback and linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks, even though uh, Seattle doesn't use a fullback as much as they have in, uh, I wouldn't even say recent years, i say past years. Uh, God, the last names that I think of are like Will Tukawafu or uh, – Michael Robinson, um, but uh, I, I'd say comedian, and obviously that comes with the between two Belores interviews with his teammates, uh, as well as kind of quips in the locker room and in press conferences uh, and on Twitter and such. Uh, with Belore helping to lead the way, the Seahawks have been one of the NFL's best special teams performers in recent years, uh, ranking number two overall in Rick Gosselin's annual special teams rankings, uh, which uses where teams finish in 22 statistical categories to determine their ranking. It was the third straight season uh, that the Seahawks have had a top three finish in those said rankings. So this was another new move that... Uh, you know, both these moves made sense uh, to me, you know, with Belor being the versatile player that he is contributing in, in kind of a minimal way on offense. I don't think they've really had to use him as a, as a linebacker very often, uh, but the special teams ability as well um, and wearing the captain C on special teams is, is a pretty notable thing uh, for Belor. So 
I mean, it makes sense uh, to have a guy like that on a team. One of the sort of uh, he's a glue guy. I would say he's a glue guy, not necessarily a glue guy like some of the other players on the roster. Uh, but Belor, I think, has earned that. And to have him back in his 13th season, um, it's pretty solid. And obviously, a lot of people find him pretty comedic um, as well. 